Today, it's even jersey numbers versus a team of odd jersey numbers. Now, the team of even jersey numbers will be the Baltimore Ravens, and Lamar Jackson will be their team captain as he wears a number eight. They will be a collection of the best players in the NFL who wear an even number on their jersey. The 49ers will be the team of odd jersey numbers as they will be led by Defensive Player of the Year, Nick Bosa, who wears a number 97. The rest of the team will be a collection of the best players who wear an odd number on their jersey. Both teams will compete in a variety of challenges in practice mode, franchise mode, and a Super Bowl matchup to determine the winner. Starting with Lamar Jackson and Team Even, Nick Chubb will be the starting halfback as he is the highest rated running back in Madden and wears a number 24. To make things a little bit more interesting, once a jersey number is taken, we cannot add another player to the team who is currently rocking that number. Josh Jacobs will be backing up Nick Chubb as he wears a number 28 for the Raiders. And at wide receiver, they are absolutely stacked. I decided to go with Tyree Kill using the number 10 instead of Cooper Cup. With the number 14, we have Stephon Diggs. He's a 97 overall, number 8 18, Justin Jefferson, and number 88 is gonna be CD Lamb. And just like that, we knocked a lot of even numbers off the list. Dallas Goddard is the best rated tight end in Madden, and he wears a number 86 for the Eagles. The old line consists of number 72, Teron Armstead, number 56, Quinton Nelson, 62, Jason Kelsey, number 70 in Zach Martin, and number 78 in Tristan Wirth. On defense, the highest rated player is Fred Warner, who wears a number 54. The rest of the linebackers include Nick Bolton, who wears a number 32, number 90 in TJ Watt, and then number 48 in Matt Milano. On the defensive line, Vaughn Miller leads the way as he wears a number 40. Cam Jordan and Vita Vea will round out the rest of the D-line. At corner, number two, Darius Slay will lead the charge with number 44, Marlon Humphrey. Unfortunately, we couldn't use 91 rated Patrick Sertain the second, 88 overall AJ Terrell because he wears a number 24 that is currently being used by Nick Chubb. With jersey number 30, Jesse Bates will be the starting free safety. And with the number 22, we got Harrison Smith. Next up, we have the team of odd jersey numbers who are going to be led by their captain, Nick Bosa. He's a 97 overall superstar X Factor and wears a jersey number 97, which means we can no longer add anyone who has a number 97. Rounding out the rest of the D line, we have number 95, Chris Jones, number 93, Jonathan Allen, and number 53, Brian Burns. At linebacker, number 11, Micah Parsons will lead the way, and he's a 96 overall superstar X Factor and just 23 years old. Bobby Wagner is the highest rated middle linebacker who wears an odd jersey. Jersey, 45. And unfortunately, we cannot add Joey Bosa to left outside linebacker because he wears the same number as his brother Nick. So we opted for Hassan Reddick, who wears a number seven. Jalen Ramsey will be cornerback number one as he wears a number five. Tredavious White wears a number 27, and Denzel Ward will be covering a number three wearing jersey number 21. At safety, we have number three, Derwin James, and number 31 in Kevin Byers. The starting quarterback for Team Odd is going to be Super Bowl champion Patrick Mahomes. He is the highest rated quarterback in Madden at 98 overall, the superstar X Factor, and he rocks the number 15. Number 23, Christian McCaffrey will be halfback one with number 33, Aaron Jones, backing him up. The highest rated wide receiver in Madden wears a number 17, and that's the Devontae Adams is a 98 overall superstar X Factor. Next up, we have number one in Jamar Chase, number 19, Debo Samuel, and number 85, T. Higgins. Another Super Bowl champion, Travis Kelsey, will be tight end one, and he wears a number 87. And on O line, we have number 71, Trent Williams, 75, Joel Batonio, number 77, Frank Ragnow, number 63, and Chris Listrom, and number 65, Lane Johnson. The first challenge is the punt return. The team of even numbers is up first, and Tyreek Hill is able to go for 11 yards on attempt number one. On attempt number two, Tyreek Hill is able to pick up nine yards, and then on his last attempt, he was able to pick up 11. Stephon Diggs is up next for the last two attempts, and he is able to pick up 12 yards. On team even's last attempt, Stephon Diggs is able to pick up 10 yards for a grand total of 53 yards. First attempt for Debo Samuel on a team of odd jersey numbers, and he is only able to pick up six on his first attempt. This is not a great start for team odd. On attempt number two, Debo is able to pick up 14 yards. And on attempt number three, it was even better as he picks up 18 for a total of 38 so far. Team odd just needs 15 or more yards to win this challenge. And Christian McCaffrey is able to pick up 15 yards, tying it up with just one last attempt. And on the last attempt, McCaffrey is able to pick up eight yards for a grand total of 61 and defeating Team Even on the punt return challenge. Next up is the goal line fade where three receivers on both teams go one-on-one -on -one with the best corner. Starting with Team Even, Lamar throws up to Stephon Diggs who is able to come down with the first catch. Attempt number two for Diggs did not go well as Ramsey is able to lock him up going one for two. Next up is Justin Jefferson and he is able to complete on his first pass and he followed that up going for another one. Putting the total to three for four so far. Last up, we 
we have CD Lamb, and he drops the first one. But he redeems himself on the very next attempt, catching it over Jalen Ramsey, and Team Even finished 4 for 6. Team Odd is up next, and Patrick Mahomes throws up to Adams, who is unable to come down with it, and Humphrey picks it off. And his next attempt did not go well either, as Adams is not able to get a touchdown. This is a really bad start for Team Odd. Jamar chases up next, and he also fails to come down with the pass on both attempts. And the last receiver is Debo Samuel, and surprisingly, he is able to secure both passes, but it was not good enough to win this challenge as they are only able to go two for six. Lamar Jackson and Team Even win the goal line fade challenge. The passing challenge is next and whichever team tallies up the most yards win. Starting with Team Even, Lamar is able to hit Justin Jefferson for 10 yards. On attempt number two, Lamar goes right back to Jefferson for another 11 and then nine more yards for a total of 30 on his first three attempts. And on attempt number four, Lamar Jackson is able to find his tight end for 32 yards. And on the very next play, he goes right back to it for another 32. And that's a grand total of 94 yards. The Holmes and the team of odd jersey numbers have their work cut out for them, but he is able to find Debo Samuel on attempt number one for eight yards. And he goes right back to him, but this time only for five. On attempt number three, Mahomes almost gets sacked, but is able to throw the ball away, but he doesn't pick up any yards. Attempt number four, Mahomes is able to find Travis Kelsey for 24 yards, and then he goes right back to him for another 29 yards for a grand total of 66 yards. And that means Team Even wins this challenge, going up 2-1 to one in the series. Next up, we have the Franchise Challenge. Whichever team, Team Even or Team Odd, has a better record at the end of this season will win this challenge. And through seven games, Team Even has a 6-1 and one record, and the Team of Odd jersey numbers have a record of 5-2. and two. And through seven games, Lamar Jackson has 1,500 passing yards and 13 touchdowns. Patty Mahomes also has 1,500 passing yards, but he has 15 touchdowns. Can Team Odd make a comeback and have a better record and they do finishing with a 15 and 2 record and unfortunately team even was only able to pick up 13 wins team even started off really well winning their first few games but then towards the end they started losing a few to the Steelers and then the Falcons. Team Odd on the other hand lost to the Seahawks in week two and then in week seven against the Chiefs but then they went perfect the rest of the way winning all their games. Nick Chubb had himself a season with 1600 yards and 22 touchdowns and Stephon Diggs led the team in receiving with 1000. McCaffrey also did really well too going for 1400 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. Adams was the only receiver with over a thousand yards on Team Odd and Nick Bosa finished with 16 sacks. The team of even jersey numbers ended up losing to Jacksonville in the wild card match whereas the team of odd jersey numbers defeated the Cardinals in the divisional round and then the Giants in the championship round and now take on the Bengals in the Super Bowl. The team of odd jersey numbers ended up winning the Super Bowl over the Bengals and Patrick Mahomes won NFL MVP. And after the franchise challenge, it is all tied up where both teams have two challenge wins. The final challenge is a Super Bowl matchup where we have Patrick Mahomes and the team of odd numbers going up against Lamar Jackson and the team of even numbers. The first possession of the game, Lamar Jackson has the ball off to Nick Chubb, who was able to pick up eight yards. And after simming the rest of the drive, team even had to punt the ball away. Mahomes has his first drive at hitting Adams for seven yards. But unfortunately, they stalled out thanks to a sack from Vaughn Miller. Lamar and team even were able to drive down the field, getting down to the one yard line, thanks to a huge reception by Dallas Goddard. First down and goal for team even, and they handed off to fullback Patrick Ricard for a touchdown. And thanks to that touchdown, they are up seven to nothing and team odd are trying to answer back and they are working down the field but as they move down the field patrick mahomes ends up throwing a pick to jesse bates and team even ends up selling for three points there is now a sense of urgency being down 10 patrick mahomes is working his way down the field hitting his wide receivers mccaffrey making some big plays and then he finally was able to find travis kelsey for a 14 yard touchdown pass cutting the lead to three with under a minute left lamar is on the seven yard line he is looking for a wide receiver but he's not able to find it so he takes off he's going and he slides at the five yard line on the very next play lamar jackson is able to find tyreek hill in the end zone Putting them up 10 points again. In the third quarter, Mahomes is able to drive down the field. He's able to hit Devontae Adams for a huge 27 yard gain. And then first and goal, Mahomes is able to find Jamar Chase for an easy touchdown cutting the lead back down to three. 17 to 14, heading into the fourth quarter, Team Ott ties the game with a 28 yard field. With just five minutes left, both teams had a few possessions, but they were not able to capitalize. With just over two minutes left, Lamar Jackson had a money drive. He was able to rush for a few yards, and then he was able to pass the ball to Justin Jefferson for 29 yards. After that, they were able to hand the ball off to Nick Chubb, and he worked their way down the field. With no timeouts for Team Odd, Lamar Jackson and Team Even have to try to get as much clock as they can off 
He keeps it for himself and he gets hit, losing a yard. With one rush left here, they are able to run down the clock to two seconds. Team Even is able to kick a field goal to win the Super Bowl matchup and more importantly, winning the entire competition by a score of three to two. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you take a look at this one. I'm sure you'll love it.